Hi, it's Terry Robinson with Remax Distinctive. Today, I'm going to answer the question, what must sellers reveal in disclosures? The specifics vary by state, but most states, including us here in Virginia, require some type of seller disclosure. And the goal is really to add transparency to the transaction process. So what is a disclosure? A disclosure really is a seller, as a seller, you're going to be providing written information about known things that could impact the property value. There are three main disclosures that I want to cover here today as far as Virginia is concerned. The first is if the property is in what we call either a homeowners association or a condo association, then the seller, as the seller, you must disclose that information and provide to a potential buyer inf the information, we call it a resale package of the disclosures about the HOA, we say HOA in short for homeowners association or the condo association. In that disclosure, it should include and will include uh, one, information about the property itself, anything regarding rules and regulations governing the actual um, property and the amenities of the property, financial statements as well as in terms of the financial health of the association. The second disclosure is what we call a residential property disclosure. And again, as the seller, what you're doing is you're putting a buyer on notice that they must do their own due diligence in finding out as much information about the property as they can. So for example, what they'll be finding out is the condition of the property itself. What about the adjacent parcels to the property? What's going on with those? Are there any easements on the property? The third one, and this one actually is a federal law that sellers must uh, actually comply with. If your house has been built before 1978, you must disclose to um, a potential buyer about lead-based paint. And it's a form that you fill out letting the, letting the buyer know whether or not your home has have lead-based paint and what information, if any, you have about it. I hope these three tips help and look forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye.